Hi guys! Today I am going to show you my entire skincare routine in detail, AM and PM, what I do. I recently posted a video talking about skincare products that I truly believe have transformed my skin. I am 50 years old, I have never had any Botox or fillers or cosmetic surgery or whatever else is out there. This is totally how I was born, natural. I've had nothing done and of course there were some people that still did not believe me even after I showed my face moving. I didn't realize that if you have Botox that your face moves, but this video is for anyone who wants to know what I do. I want to do one more thing for you guys and I know I don't need to prove this to anyone but I just feel that I want to do it. I know I don't have to, I know a lot of you know that I'm telling the truth and I just want you to see my skin, my real skin, for what it looks like right in person. So I am again going to get right up to the camera. I have not one ounce of makeup on my face right now. This is my face, this is it moving. Yep, not perfect at all, but I'm showing you guys how I make the best of the skin that I have. So I'm going to turn off my light, my ring light. So there, I'm turning it down so you can see it just gets, like the picture just gets worse. Turning it completely off. Now you can't see anything. So I'm gonna show you guys my bare skin outside and what it looks like without my ring light, just so you can see that what you're seeing here is really what my skin looks like. This is it guys, out in the sunshine, no ring light, natural lights. The sun is like right here. Can't believe I'm in the sun without sunscreen. Get out of the sun. All right, this is it. No ring light, no makeup. This is my face when you see me in person outside in the daylight. I also got a ton of questions and comments saying, oh my gosh, all that stuff that you do, I'd rather just look old. I want to show you guys how simple it truly is and how fast my skincare routine really is. So right now I'm going to show you my morning routine. I just got out of the shower. My skin is freshly washed. My hair is still soaking wet. And the two face washes that I will use are either the Zion Health face scrub clay cleanser or the Hollywood Skin Instant Shine Stop Cleanser. So either one of these I will use. This morning I used this one right before I got in the shower. I put it all over my face, jumped in the shower, did my thing, rinsed it off, and here I am. Every product that I'm going to tell you guys about I will link down below in the description box. I will also pin it to the first comment. If you look in the comment section, it'll be right at the top. I'll pin all of these products for you. I, a lot of you guys have been saying that you love that it's so easy to find all of the links to these products, so that's where these will be. So the first thing I'm gonna use is my Timeless C Plus E Plus Ferulic Acid. And this is very liquidy, so I put it just across my forehead, on my cheeks, right on my skin like that, and I rub it in. This I go right under my eyes, in the middle, over my eyebrows, neck, and chest, and hands. Everything I do on my face goes onto my neck and my chest and my hands. During the day it's kind of pointless because I wash my hands so much I'm going to wash it right off, but at least I'm getting a little bit on my hands. I don't take the vitamin C directly over my eyes because it will burn. So I just wait a couple seconds and I'm going to do this real time so you guys can see exactly what I do every morning and how quick it is. Just let it dry for a couple seconds. Then I use my Timeless Coenzyme Q10. And this one is a little bit thicker so I put like a finger length on my 
hand, rub it in, and this time I go right over my eyes as well. This does not burn. It gets a tiny bit of the vitamin C on my eyes, but I have never had it burn. Then, the last product is the Matrixel Synth 6. I actually have this in the wrong bottle because I needed a smaller bottle. I get the big giant ones and then refill this. So this is the Timeless Matrixel Synth 6. I do like a finger length. Rub it into my fingers, over my whole entire face, including my eyes, neck, chest, hands. Now, my skin is super dry. I've always had really dry skin. These three serums hydrate my skin incredibly. It's like your face doesn't get greasy. It just feels so hydrated and so moisturized and amazing. Now you have the perfect canvas to put your makeup on. I always, always, always use an extra sunscreen if I'm going outdoors. If I'm staying inside, I won't use an extra sunscreen, but if I'm going outside at all, I will always use first my SunPrize SPF 50. This is a mineral sunscreen. And mineral sunscreens you want to use after your serums and before your foundation. So I just use a little bit, like half of a finger, and that all over my face and my chest and this is so nice and light it doesn't leave a film on your skin and it's perfect for now putting on your foundation so if you guys don't wear makeup, that's it. You can totally stop there. So if I wasn't talking, that would take me one minute to put on three, wipe three serums on my face and sunscreen, boom, done. Now that is it. That was my whole skincare for the morning. The next thing I use is an SPF mineral foundation that has, um, this one has 20 SPF. This is All May Smart Shade Anti-Aging. And this is It Cosmetics CC Plus, Your Skin But Better. This one has SPF 50. So I'll use this one today, the CC Cream. I use one pump, that's it. I didn't even need that much. And I put this on, protect my skin. This color that I'm using is Neutral Tan. This is a great sunscreen that will not come off if you're sweating or outside. That is one of the things I really like about these mineral sunscreens. And I always go down onto my chest. I just got it all over my shirt. Usually I will do this before I get dressed so that I don't get it all over my clothes. So make sure I protect my chest, my neck, everything. This color is just gorgeous. I love this. My skin is totally protected now. I am going to finish doing my makeup, go about my day, and I will come back tonight and show you how I do my nighttime routine. Okay, it is now at the end of the day. I don't even know what time it is. I'm so tired right now. And I'm going to take all of this makeup off. And what I realized is I didn't even do my mask this morning. So the mask that I use usually every single morning, but because I was filming and my grandson came over, I completely lost track. So there are days here and there that I don't end up doing the mask if I forget, but normally I do it every single day. And I use this Rejuven Photon LED Therapy Mask. 
So when I'm doing it in the morning, it's right after I wash my face and then I'll just relax. I'll sit on the couch and I'll just sit there like this. I'll be on my phone or just relax and I have that 15 or 20 minutes in the morning where I'm just chilling with my mask. So you can customize this to fit your skin needs. What I do is I turn it on and I turn the um, light strength all the way up and I start with the red light and usually I'll do five minutes for the red light just sit there for five minutes then some days I'll do it for 20 minutes some days I'll use the green light or the blue light so the red light stimulates collagen a lot of you were asking me how do I tighten my skin like I want to literally tighten my skin or your neck or anything like that I just kind of change it up depending on how I'm feeling or what I want to focus on my skin then the next light is a green light. This helps with hyperpigmentation and melasma, which I deal with. So I'll do this for about five or 10 minutes. And then the next light is the blue light. This helps with killing acne in your skin. If I'm going through an acne breakout, I will just sit there for 20 minutes a day with just the blue light on my face. Like I said, I just chill out hang out. It also has other lights, but I don't use those. I only use the red, green, and blue lights. So my daytime skincare is just always the same, but the nighttime is where I switch it up throughout the week. So what I decided to do is that every night this week that I switch up my skincare routine, I'm going to film it. So that'll help you guys see that this really isn't a lot of time that goes into doing this skincare routine because I was telling you guys in the last video everything that I do, it's not like I do it all in one day or every night I'm doing the same thing and spending hours on skincare. It's so quick, I don't even think about it and I switch it up so it doesn't take a long time and my skin is still getting all of these benefits. So tonight, the first thing I'm going to do is take off my makeup with my Neutrogena wipes. That is the first step that I do is to get all of my makeup off my face. These are my favorite makeup remover wipes. They get off my waterproof lip color and my eye makeup. I'm not wearing waterproof mascara today, um, so this will take it off, but when I wear my waterproof mascara, I'll just use like coconut oil. Okay, makeup is off. Now tonight I am going to use a face mask and this one is Zion Health Glacial Mud Mask. This is intense firming exfoliating mask for all skin types. You can feel this has like a tiny bit of like grit to it, not a lot at all. Now I am going to go do the dishes and leave this on for about 10 or 15 minutes and I'm gonna wash it off and I'll be right back. Uh, my skin feels so good. I love those masks. There are so many different kinds of the masks. I will link all of the stuff that I'm using below in the description box. Next, I'm using my Matrixel Synth 6 and I also use this this morning. And I just put this all over my face, neck, and chest. Then I'm using my Hollywood Skin. This is a day cream, repairing day cream, but I use this as a night cream. This is super hydrating and it has salicylic acid in it, which is really good for acne, but it does not dry your skin. Actually, it really hydrates your skin.
Then every night I use my black Jamaican castor oil on my eyebrows and my eyelashes to help them grow. I do not pluck my eyebrows, this is it. This is all they will grow. If anybody went through that over plucking stage in the 80s and 90s, um, you know what I'm talking about, guys. So this will help get them to grow. Then I dip the other side for my eyelashes. And just rub it right on my lashes. This also helps to get off the last bit of any makeup that I have left on my eyes. And the last thing is the Zion Health Eye Cream. This is for dark circles, puffiness, and it's all natural, made of clay. And I only use a tiny little bit of this and just dab it under my eyes. Whatever's left. I just put in the corners of my mouth, get those little lines, and that's it. If I wasn't filming and talking so much, it's really quick, and so is my nighttime routine. So I will come back tomorrow night and I will show you what routine I'm going to do then. I just took off all of my makeup and washed my face, and tonight I used my Hollywood Instant Shine Stop Cleanser. Then I'm going to use my Matrixel Synth 6 Serum. I always use this pretty much no matter what skincare routine I'm doing. Don't mind my nails. I just picked all of my gel polish off my nails. I have to get them done tomorrow. And I have no idea what the heck I did to my neck right here. This looks like a blemish or something. Tonight I'm going to use my Milimet cream. This is three products in one. It is hydroquinone, tretinoin, and mametazone, and this will help with hyperpigmentation, the darkness on my face or sunspots or anything like that. And this is a less strong, a lot less strength than the hydroquinone and the tretinoin that I normally use. So this is kind of my day in between because I don't peel from this one and it's a lot less strong. So this I will use not over my eyes, just around my eyebrows. And I go under my eyes, not on my eyes around my mouth, but not on my lips. And this is the same application that I do when I'm using the hydroquinone and Retin-A. This is also, if I was not using the hydroquinone, this is how I would place the Retin-A also. Then some black Jamaican castor oil on the eyebrows and the eyelashes. This really has made such a difference. I notice if I stop using this for about a week or two, my eyebrows definitely get thinner. Done, ready for bed. I will see you guys tomorrow night. Tonight I am tinting my eyebrows and my eyelashes. I actually sometimes do a lash lift myself, but I really don't feel like spending the time tonight doing that. So I'm just tinting the eyebrows and eyelashes and I'm using this blue black thousand hour lash and brow dye and it kind of looks purple when you put it on so if you guys are going to try this don't get it on your skin because it stains a little bit it does come off eventually but i try not to get it on my skin 
then I'm just gonna leave this on for about 12 minutes and then since I already washed my face I'll just use my lavender witch hazel it smells so delicious I'm using these uh, disposable mascara wands and I just buy like a whole package like this I actually use this after I draw on my eyebrows when I'm doing my makeup and I spray this with hairspray to kind of set my eyebrows so these come in super handy now I'm going to use my lilac witch hazel this smells so delicious ah this is my favorite scented witch hazel if you guys have ever used witch hazel before it has kind of like a strange smell but this one smells delish so my face is all clean I'm just going to use this toner Wow, my hairline, I don't know if you guys notice, I totally notice, but how full my hairline is getting. I don't have any bald spots here anymore. And that is from the St. Tropica hair growth vitamins that I'm taking. Not only is my hair growing like a weed, but I'm getting all this new hair growth around my face. I'll link everything below and you'll see you can send them a picture of before you start the 60 day hair growth challenge and after and then if you send them in the before and after pictures they will send you a free month supply of the hair growth vitamins. I am so happy about this and I was excited enough at how fast my hair has been growing but now seeing all of this new growth it, this is incredible. My hair has never looked better as far as how thick and how much hair I have around my hairline. I've always had like really bad receding hairline and I've been taking these vitamins for about three months now. This is my derma roller or micro needler. Oh, I got some of the eyebrow dye on my hand and I'll do this one about once a week and I'm also going to show you how I do my derma stamp. This is my 1.00 millimeter, which is a little bit longer than this one. So my face is super clean. I washed it with my Hollywood Skin wash and I use the witch hazel. <sighs> my derma rollers have been disinfected with 91% alcohol and rinsed off. And I'm just going to do the parts of my face that I want to work on and I don't do my whole entire face. When I first started derma rolling, I would do my whole face, but now I just do the areas that I want to work on and I'm not as aggressive as I was before, so I just do over the eyebrows and that little bit of skin right above this also helps stimulate hair growth so it keeps the eyebrows growing and you'll see my skin is gonna get really red I have very sensitive skin anyway so I'm gonna turn probably more red than most people. Then I go right over my lips. I've got a bunch of different kinds of derma rollers. You just want to go in different directions. Go vertical, horizontal, and then diagonal. I 
This also helps with fine lines and wrinkles. It helps your skincare products to penetrate better. Some people derma roll more often than I do, but this is what has been working for me and this is how I do it. Now I'm gonna take my derma stamp and these needles are longer. These are the 1.00 and I only do these in the mouth lines here. And I kind of push out my cheek with my tongue. This will give little dots of blood, but nothing major. Once I start to see the little dots of blood, that's when I stop. I don't go crazy with it. So I'm just focusing on the parts of my face where I really want to build collagen the most in these nasolabial folds, the little lines around my mouth. And again, people do this differently. This is just what's been working for me and how I do it. You can do your whole entire face if you want. I do the center of my eyes. That's it. That's how I derma roll. It's very quick and easy. You can also do your neck and your chest. And then I just do a little bit on my neck. My derma roller is squeaking. Can you hear that? <laughs> and I'm really not aggressive with it. I mean, the redness on my face, you're probably like, oh my gosh, that's gotta hurt. It really doesn't bother me. Oh yeah, it's squeaking. <laughs> I think it's not time to get a new derma roller. I'll link down below where I get all of mine. And I'm not gonna do my chest. I have this little blemish, which it's going away. I used this AHA 15 glycolic acid today. I just put a little dot and it's definitely going away. I'm going to do that before I go to bed tonight. All right, I'm going to go splash my face with nice ice cold water and I'll be right back. Then I just pat my skin very gently and this feels so good on my skin. This is my Timeless HA Rose Water Spray. This has aloe and rose water extract and it's so soothing and cooling and it smells delicious. I'm using my Matrixel Synth 6 Serum. all over my face, neck, chest. And I always like to derma roll at night because I wake up in the morning and I have no redness on my skin. Now I'm using my Coenzyme Q10 Serum. Got my nails done today. Then my Zion Health Eye Cream. And my Black Jamaican Castor Oil. Now I'm just going to take my Derma Rollers and spray them with the alcohol. <laughs> Put some of this glycolic acid 
on this little blemish. Amazing, it almost went away just using that today. All right, guys, that's it for tonight, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Tonight, I'm going to do my hydroquinone and Retin-A, and before I start, I'm going to use my Timeless HA Matrixyl 3000 Rose Spray just to hydrate my skin, and my Timeless Matrixyl Synth 6 Serum. I definitely like to hydrate my skin before I use the hydroquinone and Retin-A. It definitely helps with the effect of peeling after and the shedding of my skin. First, I'm gonna use hydroquinone and this is 4% hydroquinone. I'm gonna use like a pea size. Then I'm gonna use my Retin-A 0.05%. And I'm going to use the same amount. So it's 50-50 of both of them. And all I do is mix these two together with my finger and apply it to my face. And I go just above my eyelids and over my eyebrow, but I don't go over my lids, so just like up on the bone part of my eye. And then I go up under my eyes, not too, too close. You obviously don't wanna get this in your eyes, but I do go under my eyes. And remember, where you apply this, you may get some shedding and dryness. So I don't go over my lips or too close to the corners of my nose, even though some of it gets on there. Then just whatever is left over, I go down my neck and my chest. And that's all that I'm going to do tonight, and this will soak in in a few minutes, and I will see you tomorrow night. Tonight, I am going to shave my face. So I'm going to start off with the battery-operated one. This one gives you a lot less exfoliation. It just gets off the little hairs, and it's a lot easier. So if you've never shaved your face before, I would recommend starting off with this one. I always put my finger near my eyebrow so I don't accidentally slip and take my eyebrow off because it can happen. So I just go in downward motions and I can see the little fuzzies flying off. <laughs> this will help to exfoliate your skin and help your makeup go on so much nicer. You'd be surprised how many little hairs you have on your face. And the biggest question that I get is, isn't your hair gonna grow back thicker? No. It definitely will not grow back thicker. I only do this once a week. So I have some shedding here from doing the Retin-A. So I'm going to use my other razor on that to, oh, see these fuzzies, you guys? Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see that? Look at all that fuzz. Wait, let me put it against my red shirt. See that? That's all my fuzzy hair. <laughs> I am Italian. I am mostly Italian and Greek, so I'm very hairy. And this is definitely a must. Oh, I got a pimple right there. I'll have to use one of my acne patches on there. I'll show you guys how I do that.
You can also use this to get your little nose hairs and this will not cut you at all. I just kind of like go around like this, zaps them all off. No nose hairs. Then I'm gonna spray this with alcohol to sterilize it. I'm gonna use this one next and this is not sharp, it's not going to cut you. I mean, if you drag it really hard on your skin, it could cut you, but it's not like razor sharp. So all you do with this, is do the same motions. And this is just gonna help exfoliate some of the dead skin. And this will also shave off those little hairs. And I'm gonna use this Zion Health Mango Clay Mask. This is for dry skin, super hydrating. I love using this after I have done the hydroquinone and Retin-A and it just helps to moisturize my skin. All right, I'm gonna leave this on for about 10 or 15 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to use my Matrixel Synth 6 Serum. And my Salicylic Acid Cream. the Zion Health Eye Cream. And I'm going to use my Next Care Acne Patches. These are amazing for pimples. You just make sure that it's the area is clean. So I'm just taking a little bit of water, making sure there's no product on my face right there. Then you just take one of the patches, whatever size, I think a small one will do. Take a little patch and stick it right on the blemish. Then in the morning, you'll see the patch will turn white as it sucks out any pus or oil from the blemish and that will be all flattened out. And that's it, you guys. That is everything that I do for my skincare routine. The best advice that I can give you guys for skincare is listen to your own skin. Whatever you feel like your skin is needing that day, that's what I recommend doing. Our skin will always tell us what it needs, so just listen to your skin, be consistent, and you will absolutely see results. If you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.